we're going to Putok today, we're not going to Nongkai, well we're already in Nongkai. We're going to drive from Nongkai to Putok Temple, which is a temple on top of a big rock, 183 kilometers away. So I've rented a bike for the day, let's see if we get killed by a Hilux or a, a dog running across the road, it's entirely possible. Road safety is not really a thing here in Thailand, um, as we'll discover. Alright, so we're still in Nongkai, this is the bike I'm going to be using. 300 baht for one day, which is about six pounds, which is not bad. There's some massive uh, statue of the Naga, which is a some sort of three-headed serpent, even though they've only got one head each for some reason. Anyway, that's uh, that's the bike. Hopefully, we'll get there in one piece. Don't really have a license or anything, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem. We'll soon find out. I've been always just did a bung them a couple of hundreds. I was going to stay the night in the uh, in the temple, but I've decided not to do that. Uh, but apparently, you can stay inside the temple if you ask the monks nicely. And it's actually you're staying in a cave. But um, I'm not going to do that, even though that would make a good video. Uh, but anyway, this is a uh, this is the Nagas again. <laughs> Well, only two hours later than planned, somehow. But made it finally to Putok. Stupa. And there's Putok. And I'm going to climb that now. Or at least I think I am. The, uh, that's the way to the hill. I assume you can wear shoes. That's quite a lot of signs, but I've got no idea what they mean. Don't get many foreigners around here, everyone's pretty friendly. How many times have you been up here? Yes. How many? Um, oh, it's okay, I have, I have water. It's a long way down. I just hope they made it strong. How many times have you been to Putok? Uh, how many times have you visited Putok? How many? Uh, yes. This is your first visit? No. No? Yes. Many times? Yeah. Uh. Kaput? Yes. Uh. Step seven is broken. This is a very long way down. But we're still not at the top yet. Yeah, yeah just hope they built this well. Shit. A little bit scary. It's just planks of wood. Mm. One, yes. one, two, Ning. zero, zero. Ning pang song, song noi. 
Here's the uh, bits of wood that fell off. But these these bits of wood haven't fallen off yet, thankfully. Yeah, I've got to say this does feel quite precarious now. Yeah, it does. It's just like a little plank of wood between me and oblivion. How the hell did they make it? I don't know. But there must have been a few fatalities, I think. Error. Yeah, good idea. Be careful. <laughs> So now we have uh, rocks on above our head and just some planks keeping us from falling down there. It's a long way that is. Basically no, no second chances. So now we're on the level seven. This is the uh, the last level before the top, where there's a temple, I think, on top. My new friends are saying, "Watch my head." Don't know how they built this. That, that sound is uh, baby bats, apparently. You said, "Be careful of that plank." Not very stable that plank there. No, it's okay though. It's only it's only 200 meters down. 300? I don't know. One million. Bright sun. Yes. They have a guest house here, you think? What? They have a guest house hotel. Uh, no, 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 no. No? Oh, yeah. Bung, 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 can, yes. bung can have. Uh. have yeah. Uh, yeah, been small, small. Um. Guest house. Yes. Uh. Yes. Snake. Step seven. Uh, yes. Step seven. Have. No, uh, in snakes. Yes. You know, uh, shh. Yes. Here. Have. Snake, mm. dangerous. <laughs> uh, I thought uh, I thought we did number seven, but we still have to do number seven. Yes. Snakes. Snakes are shit. That means snakes. Everybody. <laughs> Keeping an eye out for snakes. Uh, jet. jet, yes, seven. Jet. Seven. There's a squirrel. Squirrel. A lot. So that's it. We just. Just reached the top there. Now we're coming back down. It's uh, still level seven. A bit dangerous. I think level eight is dead. Oh, very nice. Name. What I meant was how many people live in Bungkan. You can do Google Translate. Translate. Google Translate. Translate. Go Google here. I can spot the difference. And we're going to go into the cave. Oh. Cave is in here. Dodgy wooden steps. Go through the cave hole. I thought it would be a big cave inside, but actually it's just a more of a passage. Just having a little rest now. Okay, so that was my trip to Putok. I hope you liked it. What did we learn today? We learned that 
health and safety isn't really a thing in Thailand. We learned that I should wear sunblock. And we also learned that Google Maps is a liar. It took five hours to get there when they said it would take two and a half hours. And it wasn't just because I was driving like a grandma. Um, so anyway, I'm in my hotel room in Bung Kang. Uh, because I couldn't be bothered to go back to Nong Kai because I was knackered after that thing with the temple. This, this room is 280 baht, which is about £5.50. You've got a bed, you've got a TV. Thailand's just won something, I don't know what it is. 2 0. Did guess the score correctly. You've even got a balcony here, and outside you can, you'll soon find out that it's raining. There's a the Mekong over there somewhere. There was lightning Ning earlier, but now it's not. Uh, so we go back into the room and that's it and I think that's all I uh, hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe if you want or you don't have to if you don't want to I don't really care <laughs>